Let's check out the all new 2022 Jayco J Flight SLX8 264BH. Hello and good afternoon, everybody. This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter, and it is my pleasure to show off this super awesome travel trailer with you all today. We're gonna walk around the outside, explain some of the features, then we're gonna do the same thing on the roof. Then we're gonna go inside, open it all up, and give you a final overlook at this really awesome travel trailer. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's jump into it. So this is the updated 2022 color uh, polar white. This is pretty sweet. It also has a new graphics layout. I like it quite a bit. This is a rolled aluminum camper. Very nice. You got a nice upgraded power tongue jack on here. This is really sweet, especially for docking up at night. You got a nice little convenience light. You're also gonna come with two 20 pound propane tanks, which we fill upon your purchase, as well as provide you with a battery. You have an additional slot if you did wanna add in another. I like this little diamond guard rock plate they got on here as far as rock chips goes. This is a really sweet setup on this. You've got a nice upgrade on here as well. They've actually taken and they've added in the pre-wire so you guys can be able to add in the side cameras which will tie in with that rear camera as well. So when you're merging traffic, the Furion uh, camera setup is definitely a great upgrade to have. Um, you've got an enclosed now pass-through storage. This used to be opened up where you could have actual access through the back portion of the uh, under the bed. Um, they also give you a nice little setup with the little magnetic catches now. Um, you've got your manual overrides for your jacks as well as um, your power tongue jack. And then you've got manual jacks right here, but get you a three quarter inch socket, hook that up to a drill. That's going to raise and lower much faster than if you had to do that manually. Take and close this. Got a nice setup with the industry's best two, three year limited structural warranty. G20 tinted windows, as you can clearly see, it's difficult for you to see inside, but it's very convenient for you to see outside. This has got the Jayco J Smart technology. This is upgraded LED lights on the top, bottom, and on the sides. You got a full span 16 foot Solera awning with the built in LED light strip. And they've actually removed the speakers that were on the awning and then now mounted them on the side. So it's now the marine grade exterior speaker speakers. This is the 264 BH. The BH stands for bunkhouse floor plan. This is a great camper to sleep plenty of friends and family on here. If I'm not mistaken, this one will actually sleep up to 10 people. It'd be a little crammed, but you could accomplish that. Very cool. You got an exterior mount right here if you guys wanted to put a TV. You also have a 110 power source, cable TV and satellite antenna output. Great setup, Dexter axles. You've got your Goodyear Endurance, uh, USA made tires as well, and a, a Dexter suspension system. Very cool. Back here, they've enlarged the uh, rear storage as well. So you got plenty of additional storage back here to put all your goods and camping supplies on the magnetic catch. You got a six gallon hot water heater. Back here, this is rear ladder prepped. Um, it doesn't have the, the ladder on this one, but you can get it with the ladder added. Um, this has to ha does have the Magnum Trust roof system on here as well. If you haven't watched this video on Jayco's website, it's a very educational video to watch, very cool. Um, you're also pre-wired for the Furion backup camera. You got a full-size spare tire, tubular style bumper, and we need to check out this roof because I'm dedicated to y'all. So we're gonna check out this Jayco Eagle. I'm gonna crawl up on the back of this and then we'll point the camera over. Ugh, climb up with one hand like a ninja and let you guys see this. Okay, so really nice. Uh, this is the Dicor Diflex uh, 3 uh, TPR roof. You also have a uh, setup here in the front. If you guys wanted to add in a solar panel, you guys could do that, you're pre-wired. This actually comes with the upgraded 15K AC, which is usually a standard 13.5, so that's pretty cool. You've got your uh, shark fin antenna as far as uh, finding your local channels, um, your uh, air ventilation system. You got a skylight and then a ventilation fan as well for the bathroom area. Very awesome. Let's go ahead and get down here. Try not to fall. All right. Get into this a little bit further. This is a 30 amp service. You have a 20,000 BTU furnace. This is uh, your section right here for your cable TV and satellite input. You got a section here for black tank flushing. Very cool. Exterior mounted shower with hot and cold settings. Very cool. And then of course, this is your dumping section right here for your black and gray, as well as your low point water drain for when you're carrying potable water, things like that, and draining it out. Section right there where you're gonna plug in. City water connection goes right here. Here's where potable water is at. 
There's your 20,000 BTU furnace. Very awesome. Other pre-wire right there for that Furion backup camera and the opposite side of your pass-through storage. Very cool. Let's go inside and check this RV out. What's another thing you notice? A lot of my videos, I'm like, we're doing these openers where we're I'm taking the unit all closed up and uh, opening it up for you guys. But the cool thing about this particular travel trailer is one, it sleeps so many. It's a very unique floor plan, but it has no slides. So that's pretty cool. So we take this handrail, simply pull this over. This is actually a nice friction hinge door. I like that quite a bit because if it's windy outside, the door's just not gonna slam shut on you. It definitely is able to pretty much hold in place. Um, nice setup with the upgraded Moride entry steps compared to the older style ones, which you'd usually get the fold away step. They're kind of doing away with that and they're going to these, which is pretty sweet. Very cool, you guys can uh, adjust your you're leveling right here as far as where your terrain is at so your sill plate matches properly so you don't have any damages to your door. It's got a nice little screen door as well. Let's go inside this beautiful RV. All right. Okay, so I'll give you a final kind of an overview of this right here. This is the uh, nice modern farmhouse interior. I definitely like this quite a bit. I do have an informative uh, 360 virtual tour on this exact RV where you can digitally walk around, set up all the couches, set everything up into a bed, open up the refrigerator, give you a much better perspective than what I can do just by what you see in this camera. Um, 60 by 80 queen size mattress, very cool. They also now include the uh, fitted sheets, which is pretty sweet. Um, LED backlighting, LED lights throughout. Of course, there's your section right there. You've got your pre-wire for solar. That's where your charge controller would go. Um, you've got your on-off right there for your blue LED backlight. You also have a 110 power source on both sides, which is pretty sweet, and enough room to be able to handle a CPAP machine. I like the Jayco, of course, they put these little mirrors in here, but also they've got your, your shelves on this side, and then on the left side, you've got a section with a rod going across if you guys wanted to put, you know, hang some clothes, you could do that. Um, over the years on this 264BH, they have actually added this petition wall, which is pretty cool. And now it's more, uh, I guess you could say, uh, private, I guess, with this privacy curtain that goes all the way across. We'll go ahead and undo this just to give you guys an overlook. And in that 360 tour, you can close this off as well to give yourself a better perspective. But we'll go ahead and close this off. Of course, it's just a curtain, but it definitely adds in a little bit more privacy as far as changing whenever you have company over. Um, you've got another little backer right here and it's already mounted to be able to hang you a flat screen TV. Uh, you've got your outputs for your uh, cable TV or satellite and then another 110 power source. I currently have the 15K AC on and it's been on for about, I would say uh, 10, 15 minutes. It's very comfortable in here. It's a very hot day. Of course, this RV is going to have carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguisher, emergency exits, all the typical safety features that an RV should have. You've got nice privacy pleated curtains on here as well. Very cool. And as you can see from the outside, you couldn't see in, but you can see very well from the inside. Uh, I like the updated valance as well. This is a nice little hideaway couch that can fold out into a bed. And simply, I'll go ahead and do it just because I know you guys would appreciate that. But you could take this, lift it up, and there's more storage down there. Very cool. And then there's the section right there where your furnace sits. But I really like that there's this little nook right up under here. You can take put some luggage, things like that. Very cool. Um, you got a booth dinette right here. This will also collapse down and turn into a bed, as you can see in the uh, 360 tour. You've got your on and off on your interior lighting. You've got your 16-foot awning in and out. Coming up here, more overhead cabinetry, very nice. IRV Technologies updated sound system. It's got the AM, FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary. You've got HDMI port, USB charging, multi-zone as well, so you guys can have the music on the inside or on the outside, very cool. And a nice little HDMI cord that's already been plugged in. Simply mount your TV, plug it right in, you're good to go. Um, you're also set up for a 12 volt TV. And then of course this is the button to turn on and off if you're looking at a cable or um, over the air channels and then a 110 power source. Here is your um, thermostat for your 15K AC system. A Norcold eight cubic foot um, 12 volt refrigerator upgrade, which is a really sweet setup if I can figure out how to open it up. And that's nice. Like I said, it's only been on for 
heck, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and uh, I'd feel comfortable putting perishable items in there. Oh yeah, definitely in the freezer. I mean, it's freezing cold in there. That's awesome. High point microwave. You've got an overhead hood, so when you guys are burning the bacon in the morning, very cool. Three burner Furion cooktop with the tempered glass insert. I must note, don't ever cook on top of this. This will shatter. It's tempered glass, so it'll go into a thousand pieces. This is more or less additional countertop prep space and a nice little splash guard if you guys are frying up stuff and you don't want it to uh, splash onto the sides. Very cool. Once that's cooled down completely, then you can put your tempered glass back into place. You got a nice little convenience light right here and then click it down to the very bottom one. Then you've got an oven light. Give us some chocolate chip cookies or a pizza. Open this up, more storage down here. Drawers, stainless steel ball bearing drawer glides. As far as your kitchen sink, nice setup with the kitchen sink, solid surface look countertops. You got a two piece sink insert as well. GFI 110 power source. You also have a section right here where you guys can check your fl fluid levels, your black, gray, fresh water, battery levels, your water pump if you guys are carrying the water with you and you want to pressurize your faucets, your water heater if you're running off of gas or electric. More overhead cabinet storage. Very nice. Your speakers are all mounted into the ceiling. You've got a 300 pound on the top and a 600 pound capacity on your bunks. Plenty of room to sleep the friends and family with additional storage and stuff below. I love that they've added this in as well because if it's like raining outside, you could still access all of your storage from up under here. Very cool. And the thing I love the most of all is you get a lot of people sometimes they don't like, ah, I don't like the bunkhouse floor plans because we don't have kids. That's perfectly fine. If you ever have anybody that comes to stay the night, that's pretty sweet. You always have a place to have somebody sleep. But take these mattresses out, get you some Tupperware bins. Man, this is just a ton of extra storage to be able to utilize. Very cool. And you ever get company, toss the mattress back in, the rest is history. Very cool. Upgraded or updated. I'm sorry. I say upgraded quite a bit. I've been doing these videos so long when I see something that has been upgraded from what it used to be, um, I always have to say upgraded because I mean the RV industry is constantly upgrading. So this is updated um, right here as far as your sink goes. Um, they've been updating the appliances as you can see all of the uh, faucets and stuff and all the uh, those components are black. Um, they've been changing that up as well. We've gotten a little bit more simplistic as far as the, uh, the mirror. Additional storage down here as well. Open this up into your bathroom. You've got a Thetford plastic uh, uh, toilet seat in there. You also have the duo form um, shower and tub combo. So you guys can be able to you know, put a little plug in there. It's a six gallon hot water heater, but you can still wash a small kid or a, a, an animal be able to do that. You've got a 12 volt ventilation fan. You've got your curtain and then they give you a nice little setup. Uh, it, it is an updated shower faucet, which is pretty sweet and it's now black. Very cool. I like this. It's a nice RV. Pretty sweet. Last but not least, of course, uh, I'll give you guys a couple more overlooks of this RV, but we're going to go ahead and open up the awning and then we'll wrap it up. Ladies and gents, we have no documentation or prep fees. Uh, all of our prices are out the door, unless your tax title and licensing and any additional accessories you may need. But we take it a step further here at Great Escapes. We are an informative company and we want to train you and uh, help the RV industry as a whole so you're not having issues while you're on the road. So all new and used purchases include an RV training class and we also have a free private campground. So there's nothing cooler than the day you have to pick up your RV. You guys come to the campground, your RV's already set up, you're ready to go, you get your training class, then you get a day or two to be able to figure out your RV and work out the kinks. If you have issues, you're still here on the lot. We also hook you up with an RV starter kit with all the basic essentials to head straight to the campground. So your sewer hose, your fresh water drinking hose, your step down regulator. There are so many reasons why customers travel from all over the United States to shop with us. Ladies and gents, Thank you so much for your time and the opportunity to do business together. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I ask that you please like, subscribe, comment, and share. We hope to see you soon. Happy camping. Up, Headed on down the road.